Okay guys, so I am back today to um, finish this this portion of the cover. This is not going to finish the cover, but um, I'm going to try to at least get all the envelopes attached and that we may not get everything decorated, but we will see how it goes. So I think I'm going to attach this little, um, it's like a tall coin envelope that she has in her kit and they come like this with the flap and you fold them and then you can have the flap, but I decided to go ahead and clip it off and just, um, you know, have the little thumb notch and I'm going to make this so that it flaps that way. So basically what we need to do, I left these open because I wasn't sure how I was going to do the flap, but for this particular one I'm going to have to do the flap on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's starting to cool off here a little bit. Um, Tomorrow is supposed to be even cooler and then we're going to pretty much be in the 70s after that it looks like, but of course, you know, it could go back up a bit. You never know. But luckily we do not have any snow, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> for all those people who have already had it. <sighs> yeah, although a little rain or snow would probably really be great because then maybe, especially in California, get those fires out in Oregon. But I don't see that in the forecast anywhere for a while. Can't tell there's kind of a little lip right there from folding that over. I'm afraid if I cut it, I'll end up cutting the side of the envelope or pocket, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm not sure what I want to attach that with. I'm thinking. use Denise's leaves because I just need like a strip of it. I don't need a ton. My son is making lunch so my cat is, well it's actually his cat, <laughs> screaming at him. Because that's what she does. She's a bony old thing. She um, has never really ate a whole lot. Like, my cats always have food. There's always food available for them. But um, she just has never really ate a lot. And so she's just the skinniest rail of a cat. So I started feeding her tuna because, um, like, real canned tuna because I just, uh, I worry about her. She gets, she's so dang skinny. I've never had a cat. Usually all the cats that I've had because we just always leave food for them at all times. Um, they just kind of maintain a normal weight. I've never had one that's like so thin. She just doesn't eat a lot. And I've tried like all different soft cat foods and all kinds of things. And the problem is like Pasha can only have certain hard cat foods where his stomach goes crazy because he's a purebred and you know they don't have the best always digestive systems and so um, anyway so I can only have certain foods out for him. So that's kind of what she gets. I don't know. But even before we got him, she's always been a super light eater. We call her our supermodel because she just <laughs> she just doesn't eat anything. People come over and, you know, like my kids' friends, I'm like, do you feed your cat? <laughs> my friends are like, yeah, you can go look right now. There's food down there for her. She just doesn't eat a lot. And she's just very thin. Yeah. 
Yeah, and for a while I did have a cat food that she would eat. And so I, would, or I ordered it from the vet and I would order big, you know, like big palette kind of things of it because that's just how it came for the vet. And um, but I didn't have that on there, right? And so the last pallet of, of it that I ordered, she ate two cans and then decided she didn't like that. <sighs> so I gave it to my sister and her cat ate it, but it was just seriously. <laughs> Such a stinker. I feel like that's crooked, but okay. That's the tricky part is all the layering, right? And I like how this is getting layered up on this. I think that looks cool. So that'll go like that. And I'll have to try to ink in there once that glue dries. And then I think I'm going to attach... This is an Artie Maze envelope, but it's smaller. I could have printed these smaller too, but I had this one already printed. And it's got the mushrooms and stuff, so I figured that works. And it's kind of nice to have some variation too, not all the same prints and things. So I'm going to come down a little bit with that one there, but the first thing I'm going to do is cut this off of it, just so that it's easier to get the tags and all that in and out of it. I think I'm just going to probably, well, I'm going to use scissors, but I better just use my cutter because I probably will mess it up. And I know you won't be able to see, but I'm just cutting some of this off of here so that... Um, the pocket's just a little bit more opened. So, so I just cut that piece off. That way when I close my envelope, and I'll probably go ahead and trim those down too, so that you can get stuff in and out easier. And I think these are supposed to go on the inside anyway. So we'll trim them to the same height as the envelope flap. there and they can be even a little bit shorter it's not like it's going to make a big difference I'm actually going to go a little lower just to make sure I don't want to see it sticking out that's the only thing when you put the flap in oh jeez you could have just snipped a ding dong um You know, like if you stitch an envelope into the journal with the flap, the opening is so darn close to the spine of the journal that it's really tight getting things in and out. And then I think I'm going to do this one too. I already cut off part of the flap on this because it had a big flap kind of like these ones. Um, so I already cut that off because it's, it's just going to hinge onto this one and I didn't want it blocking that. Now this I'm going to be careful because I don't want to cut the owl's head off because that would be weird. So I'm just going to cut as much as I can to the owl's head just to make that flat. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the sides here. These envelopes are very similar. <laughs> it's crazy. Just kind of different widths and things. doesn't look super straight, but it could just be that I didn't fold it very straight, because that's always a possibility. All right, so what I'm going to do is glue these on the inside, especially where I dinged that up. My son's making me lunch, isn't he sweet? <laughs> I mean, he's making himself the same thing, so it's not like he's doing something extra. But 
pretty awesome. So this will get glued around the back. This. And then the other one will get glued onto this one. So let's just realize this looks not very straight right here. Let's get some ink and close my glues before I get them all messed up. have any stories at all today. It's been, as we all know, pretty quiet around everywhere. And I don't have my school stories anymore now that I'm not working at the school. <laughs> I'm am going to meet with one of my friends from there this weekend though and have some, have a little coffee and chat. So that'll be super fun. See how it's going this year for her. Luckily, knock on wood, the numbers have been pretty good, but let's see if it stays that way. Everything here is pretty much open though. It's just you have to wear a mask, which is no big deal. I really don't need to ink that, do I? Let me do this. Okay. Now that I got the little fuzzies everywhere, I need a new one of these already that's coming apart and I just put that one on there. It's really rough on those I think. I'm going to go a little bit down from the top here. I'm going to move this out of the way. So that we can get that on there good. I'm not really worried about um, Train of thought. It's <laughs> banging so hard. I'm going to leave just a little space in there. I'm sure you can kind of see with the inking, just so that it opens and closes, you know, so that it doesn't get too, too tight. And then this one is going to go like this. So we'll probably have to figure out some way to decorate. And I might even go ahead and cut part of that off. Because we don't need necessarily the whole flat. So I'm going to do something like that. Maybe I'll do the same on this side. So yeah, we can put something decorative to maybe um, cover that or a piece of trim or something like that. Yeah, that'll work better. That way I'm not covering up the leaves there. All right, let's get this one glued together. The glue goobers off. So this um, idea, because like I said, I've done one of these before. But I got the idea from Gail Agustinelli. She got it from Robin Dudley House, who does some really cool ones. So if you, um, you know, don't know about her, definitely check her out because she has some 
neat stuff. But this is not my idea. I mean, I'm doing it different, obviously, with all the pockets and things, but the idea itself is hers, as far as I know. To get this straight as I can. And this is a straw bag from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Try to remember to link her. I'm sure most of you watch her channel anyway, so I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, but I'll try to remember to link her Etsy. That's the only place I know of where, I might go a little more in the middle, where you can get um, the straw paper. Items. She's got the larger bags, the smaller bags, and then of course the paper. Get it smooth back there. Okay, that'll work. And then we're gonna do this one. And this one's gonna go this way or this. They're probably this way. We'll do it this way, and we'll have the flap at the back so that it stays closed. And then when it's closed all the way, it's gonna be something like that and we'll do some decorating on those I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep that flap. I might take it off. And, uh, I'm just thinking it's not going to stay closed very well. And I could put like a piece of Velcro or something, but I'm almost thinking it'd be easier just to clip it off. okay because I will tie something around there or you know the tie that goes around the whole journal will help close it you can, can hear though and you can print these on more of a cream cardstock if you um, you know don't want to have the white at all or line them but I used a thicker paper to print these on so I don't really want to line them because that's just going to make them all that much thicker go get a new thing for that. So I might have to, yeah. So that'll go there. All right, I'll be right back in a minute. I'm gonna grab a new thing for that. Okay, I'm back and I put a new um, little pad on that. And I ate my lunch, so there won't be any more banging, but now my son's in the shower, so you can probably hear the water running. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna use a piece of this uh, paper. This is wallpaper from um, Lorna at Taylor Made Journals, and it's the set three of her grungy wallpaper. I just think this green will go well there. I probably could have used this at the other end, but I kind of like these little flowers right here, so I don't know how much of them you'll even see, but this is what we're using. I think that'll be cute along the side there. So I'm just going to tear the bottom here, kind of like I've been doing. And then, how long is it? And like I've said before, you don't have to make them the exact length. It's just how you want to do it. And if you like to measure, you can measure and, you know, cut them. You don't have to tear them if you prefer that look. Oh, so much better. It's not flopping all wacky. <laughs> it was K 
kept catching on because it was like it came off the little uh, piece of fabric that it's on. That was irritating. These really don't last very long. I mean, they used to last me a lot longer when I didn't uh, do this every day. But now that I do this every day, it's I just mow through those things, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, you can get the packages, lots of them, but still. don't know what the solution is either to it. Because I tried those little, like, makeup sponges. Oh, I wanted to glue this side first. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to. Um, and that just really didn't work for me. They totally fell apart super fast. Now, see, this comes out a little ways, so we're going to have to just leave a little space between where the fold is and can you guys see that? I don't know, but there's a little space here so that it'll go all the way around to everything. Oh, I didn't glue this together yet either. Sound good. I think I'm leaving the flap unless it bugs me and then I will probably cut it off, but let's see if we can keep it. Oh, sorry, my nose is running. Fold it down like that. And then I'm going to use the art glitter glue since I forgot and I can't get the other glue on there very easily. The stick glue. here. Try to get it over as far as I can. I obviously don't want it hanging over the edge, but and that works pretty good to build it, you know, put the hinges on and stuff as you go. I mean, I guess there's no other real way to do it, but that way you make sure you get, like this one almost has a little bit of a gusset there. So that's nice. And it's going to actually go under that one. Like that. So I think that's good for that. But let's decorate a few things just to, like right here, I definitely want some stuff. And I got these off of my porch prints, and it's like their fall fussy cut. Oh my gosh, this little girl and this little boy are adorable. And there's just a few of those. They're mostly all, you know, leaves, pumpkins. Um, so there are other little kids, but those are the only, there's just a, like four of those particular style. There's just all kinds of stuff. Pears and apples and turkeys and you know, all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on there, I think, about here. Maybe her, like, here. And then I have a leaf that I cut out from my porch prints. I'm not, I kind of almost even want to cover up that admit one part. I just can't leave very much of it showing, so it's sort of, I don't know, do I like that? I also made this little cluster, and I did that, um, that was one of my little dealies in my price tag, Digi, the blank ones, and I just stacked some things on there, I made some little watercolor leaves and I'll show you guys how to do that tomorrow I think. I mean it's fairly easy but it was very fun and so I want to make some more so I think I will do that tomorrow for a video. And it's yeah like I said really easy. I like these um, fussy cuts my porch prints 
and I can't think of what she's called, Dreams Etc. She does it too. It's like an edge that they put around them so that they're easier to cut. So that's very nice. So, scoot it over a little maybe. I thought I didn't care about seeing the admit one, but I kind of want something on there. So you know it's a, a ticket of some kind. I mean, I guess that's not hugely important. Yeah, I think I'm going to just have to cover it up because I'm just not liking the way that's looking. Alright, so I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm just going to worry about the pumpkins at the bottom of it. For some reason, that I, the font and everything just isn't what I... It's like it doesn't go or something. I mean, it goes fine with this. this. I just didn't like it with that whole thing. I'm just going to put it where I want it. And then I'll put everything else around it, basically. And get glue everywhere. I was going to put that leaf behind. Oh, it'll go behind the girl. That's right. Yeah, I think it needs to go like that. Bless you. Now my daughter's sneezing. <laughs> I'll, I'll take turns. It's that time of the year where my allergies start to bug me the most, the fall. I always kind of have a little bit of a problem, but fall is the worst. But I love the fall because I love um, the way the light is, you know, and the crispness of the air. So, I mean, there's definitely parts that I really love about it, but it does get me with the allergies. I just love her with that pumpkin. She's just adorable. Like, I don't even know that it goes, but I just like her so much I want her on there. <laughs> faces. Holding the big fat pumpkin. Super cute. I think I'm going to use our glitter glue again. Just easier when it's, um, then I don't cut my glue stick so much or tear these things. I mean, they really don't need it. They'd be fine with glue stick, but. It's too big for there. I think I'll probably end up using it somewhere else. I mean, it kind of looks okay there, but. Um. I think it would be better somewhere else. 
I have another few of those stamped out, the fall, just the word itself. That might work up there at the top. And this is just coffee dyed paper. Yep, that's what's going to go there. Just fit right in. And I just have one of those long stamps. I'll show you in just a second. These where you roll it to whatever saying you want, or there's um, a number section as well. And I've had it forever, so I'm not really sure where I got that. It's um, Provocraft. So I don't even know if you can get them anymore, but. <clears throat> Okay, I like it because you can see her and she's so cute. Alright, so we need a little something right here. This could be a writing spot and this is a writing spot. And we need to make tags and then I need stuff on this one too. There's lots of places. Ooh, you know what would be kind of cool is to put one of these like as a tuck. Just put it on there and then have it as a tuck spot. That image is really cool. Well, they all are. The colors are great on these. They were really hard to cut out, but I think I like that one. And then we can just put, you know, a tag or whatever in behind it, and that's a good little tuck. See, these kind of just keep adding to themselves. Like, you can just keep going. I don't know. They just really, um, once you get started putting down envelopes and stuff, it just keeps going and going and going. So, let's see. Do we want anything behind that? I don't want to lose the um, straw paper. Maybe a little bit of stamping would work. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go blow my nose. I'll be right back. All right, I'm really sorry about that. I just knew that it was driving me insane, so it was probably really driving you insane. So. <clears throat> I wasn't having that problem when I ate lunch, or I would have done it then. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to really randomly, you know, just get a little something on there and it's not even all of it <clears throat> a lot of this will get covered anyway and then let's go along this side because this will show do a few leaves. <clears throat> I wish these smaller leaves weren't on all one strip. I wish they were cut apart like those. I guess I could cut them apart, but knowing my luck, I'd mess it up. I'll try to just get ink on one at a time kind of thing. I need to put a piece of paper under there because I know I'm going to go off the edge and then I'm going to have stuff I don't want stamped. 
because <clears throat> I do that kind of thing. And I get that part. Let's try something. Which one? Let's use this one again. Okay. <clears throat> So see, you end up not even seeing the leaves after all that. Just gives it something in the background, which is what I wanted, so it's good. Okay, <clears throat> clean those off in a minute. This feels like it needs something down here. I'm thinking some fabric would be kind of cool. Just a little bit of something. Mm, does not really go? Do some cheesecloth. <clears throat> I need some pieces of the one that I used before. <clears throat> Let me see. <clears throat> Did you guys see Gail has <clears throat> gotten to 40,000 subscribers? I think that's so awesome. She's so amazing, sweet. She deserves every bit of it. I just think it's great. So I'm gonna take a piece of this. I love this stuff. It like kills me to use it, but because it's very old, vintagey, you can tell. <clears throat> piece of something with a little more color would be good. So just use, you know, whatever you've got. And if you don't have the old vintage lace, you can use new lace, you know, you can coffee dye it or <clears throat> you know, whatever have to have old stuff. Yes, that's what it needs. And I think that needs to be stitched right there. Yeah, I don't want to add that on. I'm going to stitch it in a minute. So that's going to go there. We know that. <clears throat> I'm not going to stitch it right now because I don't want to stop again, <laughs> make you guys wait for me. So maybe what we could do while I'm thinking about what else I want on other spots, yeah, I really like that, <clears throat> is that we could do one of these or two of these cards. I did yesterday for this pocket, I did this one, and that's a Rachel Roxy Creations, those are Artie Mays, and just a little clustery thing there. And a bird from Tracy Fox. And then one of the tickets from this one and just fall down there. And I, I, these might not all stay in this pocket. I just put them in here because they were all done and ready to go. <clears throat> so let's work on a couple of those. 
And then that'll be good for today. This is just pieces of the manila file folder that I cut up to make the cover. <coughs> These are from my follows in the air digi. Start with this one on the side what we want to do. This is a piece of the paper from um Bill and tea. I like that 1920 up there. So let's get this edge off a little bit. I always think, oh, it'll be fine. <laughs> no, it doesn't work if anything's under it, really. <clears throat> Especially these super fine edges. When you're doing like, you know, right down the middle it works, but it does not when you do that, so. But I'll never learn. That would be good for the back, too. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> but I want it on the front this one this time. This one has the manila, so it'll be fine without having anything on the back. got me going. I don't know what. I've got all the windows open in the house, so it's kind of no wonder. Our air quality is not great, but like in the morning, I should probably get them closed up as soon as I finish this video. I will, but it's not too bad, and then I close them later. It's pretty bad. <clears throat> so this little guy could work on here. Bless you. like I need more color. <clears throat> I could use this green again. Yeah, I think I'll use a piece of that again. I have this piece. Is it big enough? not.
I think that'll work. When we went out the other night, I got a mosquito bite on my arm, and it is driving me batty. I swear, if there's a mosquito anywhere, it'll find me. It hasn't been too bad this year, knock on wood. I haven't had many, but I always have to get some. When we went to the that play, my husband and I, I did get a couple that night. Because it was like an outside theater. But that's pretty normal. If I'm out at night, I'll get them. No matter what I do. My son had did that 23 and me, and it talks about that how more how some people are more susceptible to mosquito bites than others. His was just a regular like chance of being bitten was just you know average or normal or whatever you'd want to call it but I think my daughter and I are higher because man we always get it always and my son and my husband really don't very often kind of off to the side there okay there's that one, and I'll put a, um, you know, fabric tab and stitch around that. I need to put some ink on this. And of course, I got the little ink dots all over. <laughs> Let's do that because these little things fall off everywhere. All right. So that's that one, and then this one, let's do these leaves, and these are from um, After Midnight, After Midnight Design, Autumn Vibes is what it's called. If you go look in, on her shop, I mean, I'll leave a link, but if you just decide to go, that's what it's called. I want more leaves than not, so. straight like usual. So tomorrow we'll do some of those um, watercolor leaves. I wanted something more watercolor with this because a lot of the pumpkins and things look, you know, like watercolor and the leaves look like watercolor to me. So, I mean, I'm thinking that's how she did them. Or, you know, whoever the artist was.
thinking you could kind of go around that and do it as a little corner pocket on there. Not like I need another pocket really, but... I won't need any pockets on the inside because they'll all be on the outside. <laughs> Lots of journaling cards though, so I can just put those in tags, loads of tags. Yeah, I like that. And then you can just take one of the tags. There's loads of them. go good with that background. Something like that or kind of like that one because it's you can see it you know this would be another good one. Yeah I like that one better. So we'll just go with that. So let's get this on. right now. Sticking to my finger. Oh, gotta take the light off. And I didn't get the little inky things on there because it didn't take me forever to decide what to put on it. I like that. It's cute. And I need to punch the hole in the top of that. Um, okay. Perfect. Let's see. Let's look at that. Where did I put the cover piece? And like I said, I will stitch um, a piece of fabric at the top. So yeah, so see this one will go right in here. And then this one can go right in here. And then once I stitch our little, this pocket, it'll go right here. And we can put, you know, another tag or <clears throat> journaling card or whatever in there. So that's where we're at right now. So we will or I will probably finish this up today, show it to you tomorrow, and we'll do some watercolor leaves. I will talk to you soon. I want to thank you guys for everything. You are amazing supporters. So thank you, thank you, and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, and of course, welcome back to all the old subscribers. So we will chat soon. Bye-bye now.